welcome back to yet another video of Pharma Education 101. This is in continuation with the CTD video series. In today's video, we will be talking about module 3 of CTD. So module 3 is the section of CTD that is common common technical document regulatory submission format that contains all the requirement all the required quality information if you have missed out on the introduction of that five modules of CTD you can go back to this series and revise those module 3 is all about quality information and data corresponding to the registration of a pharmaceutical product now this section of the document is intended to provide guidance on the format of registration application for drug substances and their corresponding drug product as defined in the scope of ICH guidance Q6A new chemical entities and Q6B that is bio, biological or biotechnological products. Now what all comes in module 3? So we'll look at the table of contents for module 3. Okay so 3.2 this is 3.1. 3.2 is nothing but your body of data. Okay, and in that what comes is 3.2.S that is drug substance name manufacturer. Okay, so the general information that comes like name and manufacturer that comes in 3.2.S1 and then 3.2.S.1.1 is nomenclature. Now we'll quickly know what comes under this. So information on the nomenclature of the drug substance should be provided. For example, a recommended international non-proprietary name, compendial name if relevant, chemical name company or laboratory code if there is any and other non-proprietary name example national name for example in United States adopted name is USAN Japanese accepted name is JAN British approved name is BAN and chemical abstract services registry number so that is CAS the next section is about 3.2.S.1.2 is about the structure structure is nothing but name and structural formula for new chemical entity it would be the structural formula including the relative and absolute stereochemistry the molecular formula and the relative molecular mass should also be provided for biotechnological product the schematic amino acid sequence indicating glycolization or other post translational modifications and relative molecular mass should be provided as appropriate now in section S.1.3 it is general properties name and manufacturer so a list should be provided of physiochemical and other relevant properties of the drug substance including biological activities for biotechnological product and the reference ICH guideline is Q6A and Q6B. So this was about the nomenclature. Then similarly I like got manufacturer. 
to S. 3.2.S 2.1 is manufacturer. तो इसमें भी S 2.1 क्या कहता है? You are describing the manufacturer. name and address and responsibility of each manufacturer including contractors in each proposed production site or facility involved in the manufacturing and testing should be provided so detail about the manufacturer in the next point they said description of manufacturing process and process control so the description of drug substance manufacturing proce process represents the applicant's commitment for the manufacture of the drug substance information should be provided to adequately describe the manufacturing process and process control for example agar aapka new chemical entity hai to usme ek process flow diagram hona chahiye flow diagram For the synthesis of the synthesis process should be provided that includes molecular formula, okay, which includes weights, which include yield ranges, which include chemical structures, which includes the uh, chemical structure of starting material, in intermediates, reagents, and drug substances reflecting stereochemistry. and identifies operating conditions and solvents so the sequential procedural procedural narrative of the manufacturing process should be submitted and the narrative should be include should include for example the quantities of raw materials solvents catalysts and reagents reflecting the representative batch scale for commercial manufacture identification of critical steps process control equipments and operating condition example temperature pressure ph and time alternate process should be explained and described with the same level of detail as the primary process and reprocessing steps should be identified and justified any data to support this justification should be either referenced or filled in section 32s 2.5 now सिमिलरली बायोटेक के लिए आता है दैट इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस व्हिच टिपिकली स्टार्ट्स विद अ वायल ऑफ सेल बैंक एंड इंक्लूड्स सेल कल्चर्स हार्वेस्ट प्योरिफिकेशन मॉडिफिकेशन रिएक्शंस फिलिंग स्टोरेज एंड शिपिंग कंडीशंस सो this is how you describe the manufacturing process now it it could include uh, an explanation of the batch numbering system okay explanation of batch numbering system and including information regarding any pooling of harvest or intermediate and batch size or scale should be provided cell culture uh, cell culture and harvest ke upar pura flow diagram and it should in illustrate the manufacturing routes from the original inoculum to the of the world working cell bank up to the last harvesting operation okay so it is given in lens you can also refer to ich guideline where you would find this quality module 3 then purification and modification reactions ke bare mein bhi you can give in depth okay filling storage and transportation step ke bare mein bhi they said that a description of the filling procedure for the drug substance process controls uh, and acceptance criteria should be provided now control of material next subsection is s.2.3 that is control of materials name and manufacturer so material used in the manufacture of drug substance example aapka raw material आपका स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल योर सॉल्वेंट्स योर रिएजेंट्स योर कैटलिस्ट ऑल दीज 
should be listed identifying where each material is used in the process now i'll give you a small homework although it might be discussed later but you have to give me the definition of raw material what do you mean by raw material what do you mean by key starting materials ksms in the definition uh, in the comment down uh, in the comment box below information on the quality and control of these materials should also be provided so the quality is important why because ultimately even though they are the raw material starting material or solvent or reagent these are used in making your drug substance which will be further used to make some kind of drug product or ya to ye drug substance hi market ho jayenge kisi aur company ko so quality of each and every aspect even the solvents ke agar even if you are putting in hcl for that matter or nacl for that matter uska quality testing bhi bahut important hai information demonstrating that materials including biologically sourced material example media content media components ya enzymes ya antibodies meet the standard appropriate for their intended use including the clearance and control of advantageous agent should be provided as appropriate for biologically sourced material this can include information regarding the source manufacture and characterization this ki detail a point 2 mein humne mention kar di thi phir agar hum isme baat kare biotech related relation mein kyunki ye to abhi hum chemical entity new chemical entity ki baat kar rahe the biotech ke aspect mein dekha jaye to control of source कंट्रोल किसका बोला इन्होंने सोर्स एंड स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल का ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल ओरिजिन सो समरीज ऑफ वायरल सेफ्टी इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर बायोलॉजिकली सोर्स मटेरियल शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड देन सोर्स हिस्ट्री एंड जनरेशन of cell substrate so information on the source of the cell substrate and analysis of the expression construct used to genetically modify cells and incorporated in the initial cell clone used to develop the master cell bank should be provided and described in quality guideline section 5b and the same goes for subsection d cell banking system characterization and technique isme kya karna hai ki information on cell banking system okay quality control activities line cell line stability during production and storage it also should be provided and uh, you can refer ich guideline q 5a b c and d if you want to learn that in depth simply type on google ich q 5a b c and d and you will learn there in depth right now we are moving past along so that we can cover as much as we can then comes is the fourth subsection that is second subsection ka fourth point that is control of critical steps and intermediates controls of critical steps and intermediate now what does it mean by this is ki aapka control what are the controls you have for your critical steps critical steps are those steps which have a direct impact on the quality safety and efficacy of your drug substance or drug product and same goes for the intermediate so you are processing something suppose i want i have started with something known as a and i want it to be made into d to uske beech mein ek intermediate banega us process mein that is a b so wo critical intermediates pe bhi kya control hai aapka during the reaction so critical steps are uh, us pe kya control hai hamara hum kuch aise test rakhenge aur unka aisa kuch acceptance criteria rakhenge test and acceptance criteria with justification including the experimental data performed at critical steps identified in uh, this section of the manufacturing step yahan pe humne identify kiya tha sub section point 3.2.2.2 ki humne process control ka description diya tha 
तो जहाँ पे आइडेंटिफाई हुआ क्या क्या क्रिटिकल स्टेप्स थी उसका हम टेस्ट एंड एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया देंगे टू इंश्योर दैट अ प्रोसेस इज कंट्रोल्ड एंड इट शुड ऑल्सो भी मैंशन इन दिस पॉइंट फिर इंटरमीडिएट का इंटर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन द क्वालिटी एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट आइसोलेटेड ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस शुड ऑल्सो भी प्रोवाइडेड इसकी रेफरेंस गाइडेंस लिख लो कॉज क्यू सिक्स ए एंड क्यू सिक्स बी दीज आर द रेफरेंस आई सी एच गाइडलाइंस ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन रेफर टू गाइडलाइन क्यू फाइव सी देन कम्स इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज एस टू पॉइंट फाइव प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन एंड और इवेल्युएशन प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन एंड और इवेल्युएशन सो प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन या इवेल्युएशन स्टडीज क्यों की जाती है फॉर एसेप्टिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड स्टरलाइजेशन शुड बी इंक्लूडेड तो क्यों करी जाती है उसका क्वेश्चन है कि आपने प्रोसेस बनाया now you are validating it that it gives me the required quality standards required quality and quantity as well and this whole process gives me safe products to be marketed and that is how through this process validation and evaluation we confirm that to unhone iske bare mein likha ki koi bhi aisi process validation ho for accepting processing ya sterilization तो वो हमें मेंशन करनी है सो सफिशियंट इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन वैलिडेशन एंड इवेल्युएशन स्टडीज टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट दैट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इंक्लूडिंग रीप्रोसेसिंग स्टेप इज सुटेबल फॉर इट्स इंटेंडेड पर्पस एंड टू सब्सटैंशियट सिलेक्शन ऑफ क्रिटिकल प्रोसेस कंट्रोल and their limits for critical manufacturing steps so the plan for conducting the study should be described and the results analysis and conclusion from the executed study should be provided the analytical procedure and corresponding validation should be cross referenced or provided as part of justifying the selection of critical process control and acceptance criteria so it is at this step by doing validation we find out what would be the critical steps and what would be the critical intermediates would be the acceptance criteria for all of this and the justification is also given then next sub section is manufacturing process development नेम एंड मैन्युफैक्चर सो न्यू केमिकल एंटिटी के टर्म्स में अगर हम बात करेंगे तो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एंड डेवलपमेंट का अ डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द सिग्निफिकेंट चेंजेस मेड टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग साइड ऑफ द ड्रग सब्सटेंस यूज इन प्रोड्यूसिंग नॉन क्लिनिकल क्लिनिकल स्केल अप और पायलट एंड इफ अवेलेबल प्रोडक्शन स्केल बैचेस Similarly, goes for biotech, where you have to provide the development history of the manufacturing processes. Then next section is section three point two point s point three, where they said about characterization. ठीक है इसमें कितने सब सेक्शन आते हैं पहला सब सेक्शन है इलूसी इलूसीडेशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फिर आता है इम्प्योरिटीज फिर आता है ओ देर ओनली टू सब सेक्शन इन दिस फाइन लेट्स लुक एट देम इन डिटेल तो पहला उन्होंने बोला elucidation of structure and other character nsc ke terms se baat kare to nce new chemical entity they said confirmation of structure based on the synthetic route and spectral analysis should be provided ki whatever the structure is the confirmation of it should be provided and information information such as the potential for isomers isomerism 
या फिर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री और द पोटेंशियल फॉर फॉर्मिंग पॉलीमॉप्स शुड ऑल्सो भी इंक्लूडेड सो दिस वॉज अबाउट न्यू केमिकल एंटिटीज बायोटेक के टर्म्स में बात करें हम बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर डिजायर प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोडक्ट रिलेटेड सब्सटेंसेज डिटेल्स शुड भी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड हायर ऑर्डर स्ट्रक्चर पोस्ट ट्रांसलेशनल फॉर्म्स एग्जाम्पल जैसे कि ग्लाइकोफॉर्म्स सो बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी उनकी प्योरिटी इम्यूनोकेमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज वेर एवर रेलिवेंट शुड बी गिवन नेक्स्ट आता है सबसेक्शन इम्प्योरिटीज विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इम्प्योरिटीज इज इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन इम्प्योरिटी शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड एंड योर दिस कैन बी स्टार्टेड इन डिटेल इफ यू क्रॉस रेफर द गाइडलाइंस क्यू थ्री ए क्यू थ्री सी क्यू फाइव सी Q6 A and Q6 B. ठीक है फिर आता है कंट्रोल ऑफ ड्रग सब्सटेंस एस पॉइंट फोर थ्री पॉइंट टू पॉइंट एस पॉइंट फोर सेज अबाउट कंट्रोल ऑफ ड्रग सब्सटेंस तो इसमें जो सेक्शन आता है फोर पॉइंट वन वॉट आर टॉक्स अबाउट इज इट टॉक्स अबाउट स्पेसिफिकेशन द स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर द ड्रग सब्सटेंस शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड फोर पॉइंट टू टॉक्स अबाउट एनालिटिकल प्रोसीजर analytical procedure used for testing the drug substance it should be provided okay then validation of the analytical procedure so aap jo bhi procedure follow karoge sabhi cheezon ka validation to hota hi hai to validation of those analytical procedure uh, including experimental data for the analytical procedure for testing the drug substance should also be provided then batch analysis description of batches and result of batch analysis should also be provided justification justification of specification of the drug substance specification should be provided now let's next move on to the next part of the uh, section that is 3.2.s.5 it is reference standards और मटेरियल्स रेफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स और मटेरियल्स इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन द रेफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड और रेफरेंस मटेरियल शुड आल्सो बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑफ द ड्रग सब्सटेंसेस एंड इन सेक्शन थ्री पॉइंट टू पॉइंट एस पॉइंट सिक्स कंटेनर क्लोजर सिस्टम so a description of the container closure system should be provided including the identity of the material of construction for each primary packaging component and their specification so the specification should include what all description and identification the critical dimension with drawings wherever appropriate non compoundal methods with validation should be included wherever appropriate for non functional secondary packaging component example that do not provide additional protection only a brief description should be provided for functional secondary packaging components